About Mammals, a Guide for Children by Catherine and John Sill and read by Mr. C, the teacher. Mammals have hair. This is a picture of a raccoon. They may have thick fur, like these musk oxen. Sharp quills, like this porcupine. Or only a few stiff whiskers, like a walrus. Baby mammals drink milk from their mothers. Here's a picture of a baby bison drinking milk from its mom. Some mammals are born helpless. Look at these little baby white-footed mice. Others can move about on their own soon after they are born. Nice picture of a baby elk and the mother elk. Mammals may run. This is a picture of pronghorns. Climb, like this red squirrel. Swim, such as this blue whale. Or fly, like this big brown bat. Mammals eat meat. Here's a bobcat. Eat plants like this little pika. Or both. Here's a picture of a black bear. They may live in cold, icy places, like this Arctic fox. Hot, dry deserts, like this black-tailed jackrabbit. Or wet marshes, like this muskrat. It's important to protect mammals where they live. Look at the mammals in this picture. There's humans. Raccoon, gray squirrel, and white-tailed deer. All of them are mammals. And this is the afterword, which tells us more information about each of the animals that we saw in all the pictures. It says, hair in its different forms protects mammals in ways uniquely adapted for each species. Raccoons are found in each of the lower 48 states in the U.S. Musk oxen live in the cold Arctic region. They have a thick outer coat of long guard hairs covering a dense undercoat that keeps them warm in frigid temperatures. Porcupines have sharp, stiff quills on their backs and tails. The quills are loosely attached and will come off and stick into an enemy's body. Some marine mammals have only a few coarse whiskers. Walruses use their sensitive, bristly whiskers to forage for food on the ocean floor. They eat snails and clams, crabs and shrimp. Bison are also called American buffalo, where nearly, they were nearly hunted to extinction in the late 1800s. They are now protected and their numbers have slowly increased. 
Bison are the largest land animals in North America. White-footed mice babies are weaned when they are about three weeks old. Baby elk must be able to run very fast soon after birth to avoid danger from predators, that's animals that eat other animals. Newborn elk can stand up about 20 minutes after birth. Pronghorns can run over 50 miles per hour for several miles. They are the fastest mammals in North America. Red squirrels are small, noisy tree squirrels. Squirrels are rodents. Rodents' teeth continue to grow all their lives. These animals must gnaw a great deal of the time to keep their teeth worn down. Blue whales are the largest animals in the world. They grow up to 100 feet and may weigh 200 tons. Bats are the only mammals that truly fly. Big brown bats have a body length of about four, and a, four to five inches. They can fly at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. Bats are very beneficial because many of them feed on insects. Though bobcats can kill animals larger than themselves, they hunt mainly rabbits and squirrels and mice. In midsummer, pikas begin to gather plants which they pile into stacks to dry in the sun. They store these haystacks for winter food. Pikas do not hibernate in winter, but move about in tunnels they dig. Black bears are the most common bear in North America. They will eat many different things, including roots and berries, insects, and small mammals. The white winter coats of Arctic foxes change to brown in summer. This camouflage or protective collaboration allows them to hide from both predators and prey. Black-tail jackrabbits are not really rabbits, but hares. Hares do not dig burrows, and their young are born fully furred with their eyes open. Jackrabbits have very keen hearing, which helps them to avoid predators. Muskrats have a tail that is flattened from side to side. They use this flattened tail to guide them as they swim. Muskrats build their domed houses in water using marsh vegetation. One of the primary dangers to mammals is habitat destruction. We must be responsible to maintain an environment where mammals are provided space, shelter, food, and water.